Hello and welcome to episode three of After Hours. Gobble gobble, motherfuckers. It's less than a week until Thanksgiving. I'm your host, Jacob Dukely, and I am one mashed potato hoe. I hope you all had a lit and safe Halloween and took some of our suggestions for our costume ideas. I didn't see any nasty chart reels impersonators hoeing it down, but Halloween 2018 is not far away. As I've said before, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and for one of the only times in our college careers, we get to go home, not rely on our dried up bank accounts, and eat like the malnourished kings and queens we are. Thanksgiving is a day to just sit back, not care about homework assignments, and chill with family. But that's the problem, your family. You come home expecting to stuff your greedy face with as much grub as possible, only to get bombarded and attacked by questions about your future, your love life, your extracurriculars, and why you look tired and fat. Well, shut up, Aunt Linda. You need a way to dodge these bullets from your family members faster than Kylie Jenner dodges pregnancy allegations. Fortunately for you, I've come to your rescue yet again. Over the last few painstaking and gruesome minutes, I have comprised a set of five options and ideas that will successfully lead you to avoiding anything regarding your future aspirations and goals. Your first option, pretend you can't hear them. I'm sorry, second cousin Josie, I can't hear your pathetically shrill voice over your weak, decrepit mother trying to carve the turkey. What's that, Grandpa George? I'm too busy running errands for my dad to listen to whatever you're spewing out of your old mouth. Option two, spit on them. Take, back, take it back 10 years when pumpkins spat on New York in flavor of love and hawked a loogie whichever, at whichever relative thinks it's cute to ask you why you're still single. Option three, just don't go to Thanksgiving. Sometimes starving alone in your dorm is sad and lonesome, but sometimes it's an escape mechanism and a very effective way to not have to deal with anyone in your family. Option four, fake your own death. Whether it's before the festivities begin or if it's during the dinner, when you're trying to pass the greens to your sister, be extra and pretend to kick the bucket. Make this Thanksgiving all about you by pretending to choke on a drumstick. Sometimes fake death is the only escape. Lastly, option five, lie. You wanna know how well my GPA is this semester? 4.0. You wanna know why I look like I've been run over by a Mack truck? I saved a puppy's life by pushing him out of the intersection and took the hit for him. How is my love life raking in hoes by the minute? Look your sweet, sweet grandma directly into her innocent, supple eyes and tell that trick you've never been felt better in your life. They'll eat it up faster than stuffing and leave your ass at peace. Now that you're a pro for dodging bullets at blazing speed, it's time to get on with the show. I have two very special guests, Shakira and Tobias. And just a hint, Tobias is a dog, so I'm very excited. Stay with us. What is Griff 4.1? What is 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 4.1? What's 4.1? What is 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 channel 4.1? We are 4.1. 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 And it's a great day to be a grip.
Welcome back to the show. I am here with another live human being and another live dog, Shakira Hines and Tobias. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing good. Good. Okay. Shakira, don't hate me, but I have to ask, do your hips lie? I already hate you already. <laughs> <laughs> they are compulsive liars, actually. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so Tobias, how, how did you get his name? He actually came from a long conversation with a friend of mine. She's a Christian, so Tobias means basically like blessing from God. And she, my friend had basically told me, since I had a previous ESA that passed away, that God would bless me with another one, just as good as the previous one. Aww. And so he did. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm actually named after the Bible. It's not like my parents aren't religious or anything, but they're just like, we like the name Jacob, and apparently that's in the Bible, so <laughs> whatever. So, I mean, like, we have this connection already. I, I, I feel it. And Biblical he's, connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not even looking, but he's, it's fine. <laughs> so he is an emotional support dog. Yes, he is. So how does his relationship with you help you? Uh, his work is mostly done at night, which is kind of a, unique for an emotional support animal. So I have trouble sleeping, I suffer from night terrors, and he's kind of, his job is to pull me out of that state. Like let's say I have sleep paralysis, he'll kind of bring me back to reality, nudge me awake, or just the pressure on my chest would like help me sleep better. That's amazing. Now sleep paralysis is when you wake up and you can't move, right? You wake, it's kind of like you're in that in between of sleep and, there he goes, <laughs> in between of sleep and, um, being awake. Mm -hmm. So sleep paralysis could actually cause you to hallucinate and see things that aren't there. You are paralyzed, so you can't move. Okay. So it's the waking up part that tends to be the hardest to recover from. Oh my gosh. Wow. That yeah. must be really scary. It, it yeah. can be like horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so thank God he's there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> his job. Still okay. working on it, but he's doing good so far. Okay, good, good. How is um, the relationship with the roommates too? Do they do they obviously have to like him, right? Yeah, they right. obviously do have to like him. There's a lot of agreements you have to sign on to if you wish to room with Tobias. So yeah. thankfully for my roommates, they're used to him and his behavior. He's still very young, so he's super energetic. But I have roommates that were willing to conform to his nature and kind of deal with him and the bruises and the playfulness <laughs> and the chasing around. Nice. So how old is he? You said he was young. He is only two years old. He just turned oh. two in September. Oh my gosh, so baby. He moved into the dorm when he was only about 10 months old. Wow. So. Was he potty trained? He was uh, still learning. Oh. <laughs> so you can imagine what it was like living in a dorm with a puppy. <laughs> I feel like that's probably living with like a drunk roommate, honestly, just like pee everywhere. Right? Pee, vomit. Yeah. He was very nervous, yeah. but he got better as the months went on. Nice. So I'm not an ABEC major. I'm not very good at like breeds and everything. What yeah. breed of dog is he? He is a French Bulldog, but okay. he is not AKC. He's actually, his build is considered European. Okay. Because there's like this project going on where they're trying to reverse all the damage that's been done through breeding. So Tobias in particular has a longer snout than AKC Bulldogs, and he also has a longer tail than AKC Bulldogs, and that will basically help him breathe, and it reduces his chance of hip dysplasia in the future. Oh, nice. What is that? Hip dysplasia is mm. basically, if you've ever seen an older dog with stiffened back legs, it basically reduces the movement of the hips. It's like arthritis in the hips and it could eventually paralyze the dog from the waist down. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, my grandmother had a chow chow that had hip dysplasia, so. Oh no. I'm, I have experience in dealing with it, but I'm fully confident that Tobias has a better chance of not getting it. <laughs> so you guys were like basically meant for each other. Uh, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where is his favorite place to go on campus? He loves the quad. Okay. So that's where, that's his first experiences were, that's where we used to live in Bosch, so Aww. we used to love exploring the quad, and I used to bring him to the movies when they ever had like movies on the on the grass and stuff. I used to bring him to those, and he's leaving. Oh no, <laughs> he's like, this interview's done. He's like, I'm so <laughs> over it. <laughs> Can we come? But he's a good boy. But he loves the quad in Palisano, anywhere where there's a specific concentration of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So he loves people. So he's an extrovert. Definitely. Okay. More than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he helps me as well. <laughs> oh, 
So that is his caterpillar, I'm assuming. I mean, it could be yours. It could it, be yours. <laughs> no, this is Toby's caterpillar. It's probably one of his favorite things in the world. Oh, does it have a name? It, it does not. We just call it the caterpillar. The caterpillar. That's good. That's the caterpillar. Good. <laughs> very nice. So um, a very hard-hitting question. So yeah. if it came down to you, as in choosing between the dog and the roommates, who would you choose? The dog. The do oh. <laughs> For those of oh. you who don't know, there are some roommates um, behind the camera, so I'm ready Sorry for guys. hands to go flying. No. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know what they signed up for. The dog all the way. <laughs> like, I chew their head off just for, like, yelling at him too loudly. Aww. <laughs> like, the littlest Aww. thing. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Shakira, and Tobias, for coming over. I really appreciate your time. Is there any mm -hmm. last thing you'd like to say to the camera? You can say literally anything. He's a good boy, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Stay with us. Oh, baby, check this out. Hey, come on. You want a little chicken? You want a Dorito? I know, I'm weak. Come on, get a Dorito. Babe, don't hurt my dog. Everyone loves the picture I posted of you. AT&T reminds you, it can wait. Thank you so much to my special guests this evening, Shakira and her dog Tobias. The show has basically turned into a pet smart and I'm living for it. Thank you to the crew here tonight who made all of this possible with all of their hard work. And thanks to you, the viewers. Without you, I'd be sad and lonely. Signing off, I'm Jacob Dukely, but if you didn't like tonight's show, then I'm Tyra Banks, and we were all rooting for you. Stay fierce.